It's a bold-faced question. Step 1 is to identify the conclusion of the argument. The conclusion is this part of the argument. It may not be big enough to realize the government's objective. As in this project here, may not be big enough to realize the objective. Step 2 here is to link the two bold faces with the conclusion. So how is the first bold face linked with the conclusion here? The first is simply a circumstance whose exploration leads to the conclusion and second is a consideration that supports the conclusion that the objective is not likely to be met. So with this groundwork, let's look at the answer choices. Yes, the first introduces a proposed plan but the argument does not provide support for the plan. The argument overall suggests that the plan is not likely to meet its objective and therefore this part is incorrect. Similar problem here also. The argument does not provide support for this plan. So answer choices A and B should be eliminated. To say something like argument assesses is absolutely correct or to say that the proposed course of action is for achieving a specific goal is also alright and in choice C to say that the first bold face introduces a proposed course of action for achieving a specific goal is also fine. So it's among C, D and E. Let's explore the roles suggested for the second bold face now. Look at choice C. The second bold face provides evidence that is used to support the argument's assessment of that course of action. It's a bit subtle but it is correct. See it is about argument's assessment and the assessment is that the project may not be big enough to realize the government's objective. So yes, the second bold face here is supporting the assessment. A very interesting answer choice this one, likely to be correct. Let's look at D and E. No possible alternatives have been discussed, so answer choice D can just not be correct. The second has not been used to support the plan. So answer choice E can not be correct. One more flaw here is that the argument has not suggested that the claim is inaccurate. So E is a very poor answer choice. Besides, I see some more problems with choices A and B. A says that the second bold face provides evidence that supports the plan. No, the second bold face does not lead to a support for the plan. The second bold face here goes on to support that the plan may not be able to meet its objective. So answer choice A, one more reason for it being incorrect. Another problem with choice B is that it says that the second bold face provides a reason for not adopting a possible alternative plan. Once again, no alternative plan has been talked about and therefore such answer choices can just not be correct, B or D. So a lot incorrect with the other four answer choices. Let's confirm answer choice C once. C, the conclusion is this part here, that the project may not be big enough to realize the government's objective. The first bold face itself is the plan and the second bold face supports the conclusion as to why the plan the project may not be big enough to meet its objectives. And now let's look at answer choice C. The first introduces a proposed course of action for achieving a specific goal. What is this specific goal? It is to become self-reliant in solar production. So the role suggested for the first bold face is bang on. Look at the second part here. The second bold face provides evidence. Calling it evidence is alright because it is quite objective and concrete in nature. So this part is alright. Evidence that is used to support the argument's assessment. And yes, assessment is a very very good term for this. Remember in the start of this video, I said that the first bold face is a circumstance whose exploration leads to the conclusion here. Calling it an exploration or calling it an assessment is a very similar thing. So yes, the second bold face here is leading to the plan's assessment and the result of the assessment is that the plan is not big enough to realize the government's objective. Everything makes sense here. C is the best answer choice.